there are no more passionate foes of the Obama agenda than the Tea Partiers. We have stronger principles and we have stronger values. But while they style themselves as insurgents angry at both parties, the CBS News poll says 81 percent intend to vote Republican next month, including poll participant Mark Evans. I think there's a lot of anger out there as to what's been going on the last couple of years. And I think the Tea Party is representing a lot of that. Tea Partiers are overwhelmingly white, male, Protestant, and fired up. And Joel Pop Steve Steblick is an unemployed Tea Party advocate and a Democrat's nightmare. They're running up deficits and spending money that we don't have, spending our children's and their children's money, and people are reacting to that. Where would we be today were it not for the stimulus or the bailouts of the banks and, and the auto industry? We might have been better off. Large majorities of Tea Partiers agree that the bailouts were bad and they argue for a smaller government. But how many Americans agree with the Tea Party overall is a valid question. The poll found that only 30% of the country believes the Tea Partiers reflect the views of most Americans. 41% of the country does not. They represent a very small sliver of Americans who are upset about paying taxes. There's always going to be people who don't want to pay taxes. And while almost 7 out of 10 Tea Partiers believe they are part of a long-term political movement, only 26% of all Americans buy that. I think the Tea Party has no political, um, political place. No, no way, absolutely not. Now, according to our poll, the Tea Party movement is not well understood in the country, and despite all the publicity it's generated, only 22% of Americans view the movement favorably. Katie? All right, Dean Reynolds in Chicago tonight. Thank you, Dean.